Welcome back to another episode. And uh, well, I got some more books I want to show you guys. Uh, these books here, they go, they go along the lines of uh, Chinese religion and uh, different things of that nature. And uh, well, let's take a look and see what we got. First book here is uh, The Three Ways of Thought in Ancient China. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and read the back of this one for you guys. Uh, in the 4th century BC, three conflicting points of view in the Chinese philosophy received classic expression. The Ta Taoists, the Confucianists, and the Realists. The Taoists were indifferent to society, morality, law, and order, and opposed to them a mystic self-fulfillment. The Confucianists followed the path of their great master, scurried from court to court, looking still for the philosopher king who would establish an order of good and goodness, righteousness, and morality. And then there were the realists, who believed in neither man nor God, but simply that the government must be based upon the actual facts of the world as they are, and who, following this principle, worked up the blueprint for a totalitarianism society more throughout and more detailed than any of the West was to know for the next 2,000 years. And that's this book here. And uh, I got another one called the uh, Buddhist Sotis, Sotos, Buddhist Sotos, this book here. Uh, pretty intriguing. And this other book here, I got the... Uh, Chinese religion and introduction and uh, well these books here I thought were very interesting uh, really got my attention uh, for the so the title of this episode I'm gonna go ahead and call it a uh, Chinese philosophy and I'm gonna take these books here uh, based out of you know kind of like what I got out of these books here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a chart going and I'm gonna go ahead and break down the uh, Chinese philosophy for you and in a way that makes sense for me Okay, right, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. First, we got Chinese philosophy. This here is a, a naturalistic universe. And that pretty much means that uh, they believe in nature and uh, natural. And we got what, and you know, that go ahead and brings down to uh, yin and yang. And they, they pretty much uh, explains the excuse me, meta, metaphysics. And theory of the cosmos. Y'all probably familiar with that there. That is the yin and yang. And the yin is that there. And the yang is that. Now I know a lot of y'all, y'all think that this is good and evil. But really what this here means is the cosmos. This here, the, the symbol, that's like a clock. You see, this here is 12 p.m. 6 a.m., 6 p.m., and 12 p.m. So that there, that there's the sun, and that there's the moon. And it's a clock that turns. Pretty much what that is. And then you got a tail, also known as Xiong Qing. This guy here 
rules the heaven. And is also the emperor. <laughs> Chinese emperor is the ruler of heaven. Uh, and that's their god. Uh, they don't really believe in God or a creator. You know, they, they believe in the law of nature. But nature has no creator. If you can follow me on that. But that that's what we got so far. And what they believe in is positive and negative energy. Also known as spirits. And a spirit, it can be anything on this earth. A spirit could be a flower. It could be it could be a rock. It could be a fish. Or it could be a star. So anything in the universe is a potential spirit. They also believe in karma. Which is ruled by these spirits. Slash deities. And they believe in good spirits and bad spirits. You know, uh, they're the creatures from the metaphysical world. And, uh, well, they come up with these charms. And, you know, different amulets to combat these evil spirits and make them go away. And uh, so then you got the afterlife that breaks down in, uh, to reincarnation. And the reincarnation, well, is a person. And when the person dies... He can turn into a ghost, like like their ancestors are ghosts, and then from there he can he can be a flower again, or he could be a fish. So uh, just to make sure y'all get a a good look at it, you know, this is Chinese philosophy, you know, and here at the bottom. You got the charms and the afterlife from a person to a ghost to a flower to a fish. And everything got spirits and, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what they believe in. In Chinese philosophy, the mesophytics and the cosmos and the spirit of energy. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.